Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. It's another edition of the daily edification, the daily exhortation. And it comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bar Shem, Yahweh Shai Bar Shem, Kakwadash. All praises and glories due. Now, what you're looking at here on the screen is an actual sandwich that's sold by KFC, which used to be Kentucky Fried Chicken. I remember back in the late 70s, this is 78, 79, back then you had Kentucky Fried Chicken, which was a fried chicken spot, and it was marked by this bucket that would uh, spin around slowly on this pole right outside the restaurant to identify the restaurant, KF, you know, K, which is now called KFC today. Back then it was called Kentucky Fried Chicken. The reason is, back then they used real chicken, you know, they served the public real chicken back then, but now the shit that they serve is not chicken. So by law, they had to change their name to KFC. Well, what you're looking at is an actual sandwich from KFC. It's two fried donuts with a piece of chicken in the middle, man. <laughs> now, if this devil is not out to kill our people, you tell me what, okay? This is, now, I don't have to tell you who this, well, what this garbage is, what this garbage is. Or who this garbage is marketed to. That's really what I want to say. Who does, I don't have to tell you who this garbage is marketed to. It's marketed to really our people. Because it's mainly our people that's going to eat this garbage. And this is straight up garbage, man. And when I saw this, I was watching uh, this dude that I watch. He's, he goes by the title Minister of Wellness. His, his name is Nathaniel Jordan. And uh, those of you that... Uh, into health you may want to check out this uh, brother's channel you know he's a he's an Israelite you know um, he um, when I say Israelite he's a Jake now I don't, I'm not sure I know he knows about Israel and he probably does watch our videos beginning with Elder Apostle Tower down but I don't know the depth of his knowledge concerning the Hebrew Israelites but he has a very good channel dealing with health and, and the best foods to eat to maintain your health. And uh, I'm going to play a little bit of this video here that he did, Fast Food Genocide. KFC's Donut Chicken or Donut Fried Chicken. Now, any of you, if you brothers out there, if you are actually eating this stuff, well, you just deserve what you get, okay? Because nobody in their right mind would eat this shit, okay? I mean, this is pure garbage, man. Two donuts, fried donuts with a piece of chicken in the middle of it. Amazing. But anyway, let's listen to a little bit of this this video here, and then I'm gonna bring out a scripture, which I you know kind of ties into this mess that we're being bombarded with by the wicked elite. The wicked elite put this out here, this so-called sandwich. The wicked elite put it out there to destroy our people. To destroy their health, thus destroying our people. But anyway, let's listen to a little bit of uh, uh, the Minister of Wellness, who also, you know, his name is uh, Nathaniel Jordan. Greetings, brothers and sisters, family and friends. I am the Minister of Wellness, Nathaniel Jordan. So KF Def Shack, they've taken, they've taken things to a whole new level. A fried chicken sandwich in between donuts. This is ridiculous. This should be a crime against humanity. This is it's sickening. We're living in the last days. I mean, I, I never thought I would, I never thought I would live to see the day where fried chicken would be placed in between donuts. And of course, we'll have the insane food zombies running around like chickens with their head cuts off to get to this garbage to kill themselves and kill their children. This is truly murder. This is murder. This is first degree murder is premeditated killing because no one in their right. The killing of who? The killing of our people, because it's mainly our people. And when I say our people, I'm talking about the so-called Negro all the way down to the so-called Mexican. It's mainly our people, the tribes, if you will. It's mainly our, peop our people that's going to eat that garbage, man, and bring wreck upon their health. My 
can justify this as being healthy. And it's not good in moderation. You shouldn't eat this at all. We can't afford no moderation diet foolishness. That moderation balanced diet nonsense. I have to agree with the Minister of Wellness. I mean, this is just complete foolishness. And, well, if any of you jakes out there, especially in Great Millstone, if you eat this shit, well, you deserve what you're going to get. Okay, you, you just deserve what you're going to get. This is complete foolishness. And like I said, the main reason why I'm doing this video is because who is this really marketed to? It's marketed to, to our people to destroy their health so they can destroy themselves. And like he said, we're truly in the last days. And I'm going to bring out a scripture in the book of Ezekiel that matches this, this nonsense here. Two fried donuts with a piece of chicken in, in, in the middle of it, man? <laughs> like I said, if you eat this shit, you deserve what you're going to get. It's not working because the whole nation is fat and sick. Uh, go sit at Walmart for 12 hours and count the number of people that come in there with clear skin, clear eyes, lean, and healthy. Count them. Count them. And you might not even get to five if you, if you stay in there for 12 hours. Now, what this man doesn't know is that we, us Israelites... We are indeed under a curse. That's why our health is bad. Part of the uh, reason why, you know, we have bad health as a nation is because it goes back to the curses. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. I'm going to bounce around. Let me read the 15th verse. Because there's no getting around it. We are under the curses. Okay, we are under the curses. The only one that can liberate us from the curses is Yahweh Shai. And that's exactly why Yahweh Shai is coming to liberate us Israelites, begin with the elect, from those curses. But for you to use that as an excuse to go and eat that garbage that I just showed you, well, <laughs> like I said, whatever you get, you deserve it, okay? I mean, that's just complete foolishness. Now, I know our, the Lord said our people are foolish, meaning uh, Jeremiah 4 and 22, when it says our people, uh, the Lord's people are sottish children. Sottish means stupid. But to eat that nonsense... You're beyond stupid. You're, you're insane. Okay? Uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the 15th verse. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments, which we didn't do as a nation, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, one of those curses is, is to have bad health. It's, our health is not going to be optimum. Okay? And plus, all the crap that Esau's throwing at us through the air, you know, polluting the air, polluting the water, you know, you got GMO foods, you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, this devil is throwing a lot of nonsense at us that makes us sick, you know, just being under this devil is, is you know, uh, sickness indeed, you know, sickness of the mind, you know, but it all goes back to the curses, but to eat that <laughs> <laughs> what you just saw there with that two two donuts and a piece of fried chicken to eat that shit, man? I mean, <laughs> and you know who, uh, I can see it now. A lot of so-called black women are going to eat that nonsense. That's one of the reasons why the so-called black woman is totally out of shape. She'll actually eat that shit. Anyway, this is it right here, the 21st verse, Deuteronomy 28 and 21. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee. Un until he have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever. That all ties into what? Bad health. And with an inflammation and with extreme or with an ex extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. So in other words, we're going to have what? We're going to have bad health. Okay, we're going to have bad health. Let's read the 27th verse. The Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt and with the emeralds. And I believe that's uh, another word for emeralds is uh, hemorrhoids. And with the scab and with the itch, wherefore thou canst not be healed. Okay, so those two verses represent what? Our health being bad, you know, because we're under those curses. Okay? So now, 
<laughs> seeing that we're under those curses, now that you know that we're under those curses, shouldn't you try to eat the best that you can possibly eat? Shouldn't you try to stay away from the the things that uh you know that would really make you sick? Well, this is one of them. Why you think they're pushing this? Why you think our enemies Esau, who created this in a lab somewhere, why you think Esau is pushing this? To it's it's one of the 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 things to destroy our people, man. To further put put them in misery than they already are. Okay, and the majority of our people, this this shit is gonna appeal to them, and they're gonna eat that shit. Now. Let me bring out the book of Ezekiel, because this is one of the reasons why I made this this video. I mean, I, I saw that, and I just had to, <laughs> I just had to, <laughs> after I got over the shock of watching it, two donuts with a piece of fried chicken in the middle, <laughs> I said, I got I to gotta tie this in, in, into prophecy, into scripture, and it's right here in the book of Ezekiel, the fourth chapter, I'm just going to go right to the point. You brothers can read the whole chapter when you when you uh, you know when you when you have some time you can read the whole chapter and get into it. But Ezekiel the fourth chapter, this is what the Lord told uh, told uh, uh, Ezekiel to do. Ezekiel four, and I'll start at the tenth verse. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight, twenty shekels a day from time to time shall thou eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the sixth part of an hen, from time to time shalt thou drink, and thou shalt eat it as barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. So, our bread or our food is defiled among the nations. And a good example of that is these, G, the, these GMOs that we're being forced to eat by Esau. Okay, here's another example, this crap right here. You know, and, and many of our people will eat this shit because they, they don't know any better. Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The only thing that they know is this, this shit tastes good. Okay, and I'm pretty sure if you were to eat that crap, I'm pretty sure it'd have a very good taste to it, or else they wouldn't market it. But it's pure death, man. It's pure death. After you eat this shit, this shit ain't no telling what it's going to do to your body, what it's going to do to your blood pressure, what it's going to do to your vision, what it's going to do to your circulation. And all these things affect our health, you know? <laughs> but this is the scripture. Let's go back to the scripture. Let's read it again. This is prophecy, okay? And the Lord shall and the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel, the Israelites, eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, the other nations, whither I will drive them. And even Ezekiel protested to the Lord. He said to the Lord, I don't want to make uh, my food with dung, with man's dung. Well, let's read what he said. Then said I, Lord Power. Behold, my soul have not been polluted from my youth. Up even till now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself, or is torn in pieces, neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. And this, my brothers and a few sisters that listen to our videos, this is abominable, abominable uh, flesh. This is abominable crap. Okay, this shit right here. That's a perfect example of abominable nonsense, man. Two fried donuts with a piece of fried chicken in it. Just looking at this shit will raise up your blood pressure. <laughs> okay? Much less eating it. Okay? <laughs> it's amazing. Even Ezekiel, the, the prophet, protested to the Lord when the Lord told him to make your food out of human dung. So this is what the Lord told him. Told Ezekiel, then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. Now, you know what that means? That means that in the future our food would be likened unto shit. Man shit, 
cow shit. That's why the Lord told Ezekiel to do that. That was a, a, an omen of things to come, how bad our diet would get as Israelites. At one time, we had the best diet, but look at our diet now. That's what that means. That's why the Lord told Ezekiel to make your food out of man's dung, and then Ezekiel protested, then he said cow's dung. It symbolizes how bad our diet would get. And brothers and the few sisters that watch us, you've seen a perfect example right now. Look at this shit, man. Look at this shit. <laughs> Amazing. And you're going to have, <laughs> maybe even in Great Millstone, you're going to have some knucklehead eat that shit, man. And if you eat that crap, you deserve whatever you get. If your vision starts going bad, you keep eating that shit, you deserve whatever you get. I mean, this is complete nonsense, man. And I, I was reading the comments. They said this thing came out of the boondocks. It was an idea that came out the boondocks. I guess it was an episode where they had a couple of donuts with a piece of fried chicken. And you know who they were poking fun at? So-called blacks, man. Israelites, especially so-called blacks. Because they're the ones that's going to line up like a welfare line to eat this shit. Okay? <laughs> they're already fighting over Popeye's fried chicken. <laughs> And, and uh, Chick-fil-A fried chicken. And the thing with, the uh, when you go back to the Popeye's fried chicken, if you grew up watching Popeye, Popeye didn't eat no fried chicken. The, the, the cartoon Popeye, he, he ate something that was healthy, spinach. How many so-called blacks are going to eat spinach? Going to fight for spinach. But oh no, they're going to fight for that fried chicken though, that Popeye's fried chicken. <laughs> no, sounding like that guy, the minister of wellness. <laughs> Well, you just have to laugh at this shit, man. A piece, a piece of fried chicken sandwich between two donuts. Amazing. Anyway, with that, I'm going to leave it there. Again, check out this dude, uh, the Minister of Wellness. Just put Minister of Wellness. And, uh, you know, uh, he, his channel is pretty informative. And, uh, you know, if you care about your health and care about what you put in your mouth, after all, like the saying goes, you are what you eat. So if you care about what you eat, then you want to check that dude out. He, he puts down the information, man. So with that, I'm going to leave it there. It's on to the next one. Amazing, man. Two pieces of donut, two pieces of fried donuts with a piece of fried chicken in between. <laughs>